This time we're going to work backwards to calculate Ksp itself given the solubilities. So the first part of problem number 9 says the solubility of BaCO3 is 7.0 times 10 to the negative 5 moles per liter at 25 degrees. Determine the value of Ksp. So the first thing we'll always need is a balanced equation. We have BaCO3, so we'll have BaCO3, the solid, will turn into Ba plus 2 ions plus CO3 minus 2 ions. And, and the Ba plus 2 is aqueous, just like the CO3 minus 2 is aqueous, so they'll both get included in the KSP expression. So BaCO3 precipitates, but does some of it dissolve back into the solution? Let's set up the KSP expression. So we have KSP equals Ba plus 2 times CO3 minus 2. Okay, let's look back at the question and read it again. What does it mean the solubility of BaCO3 is 7.0 times 10 to the negative 5 moles per liter? Well, that means that 7.0 times 10 to the negative 5 moles of BaCO3 will dissolve. So 7.0 times 10 to the negative 5 moles of Ba plus 2 will be produced, and 7.0 times 10 to the negative 5 moles of CO3 minus 2 will be produced. So if I was going to set up an ice box, 7.0 times 10 to the negative 5 would be the change for Ba plus 2 and the change for CO3 minus 2. So I can actually plug those straight into that KSP expression. So since I don't actually have the KSP for BaCO3, or if it's on the chart we're not looking, I end up with KSP equals 7.0 times 10 to the negative 5 times 7.0 times 10 to the negative 5. Or if you prefer, 7.0 times 10 to the negative 5 squared. Type that in your calculator and you get 4.9 times 10 to the negative 9. And that's really all there is for KSP. That's it. That's your answer. Let's try the second half. So the next part of number 9 says the solubility of PBI2 is 1.3 times 10 to the negative third moles per liter at 25 degrees C. Determine the value of KSP. It looks a lot like the one we just did. Very first thing always is write a balanced equation. That's PBI2 solid is going to be dissolving to form PB plus 2 aqueous plus 2I minus aqueous. And remember the 2 goes in front of the I because this 2 is here to balance the charges, not because it's the identity of iodine. Remember there's no such thing as diatomic molecules here, we only have ions. So this 2 from the back will always go in front, not behind. So then, what we need is a KSP expression. We have KSP equals PB plus 2 times I minus squared. And then we're going to have to have something to plug into that. So look back again at the question. The solubility of PBI2 is 1.3 times 10 to the negative third moles per liter. That means that however much PBI2 we started with, I don't know what the initial is, but the change is going to be 1.3 times 10 to the negative third moles per liter. That's how much PBI2 will dissolve, which means that that's how much PB plus 2, 1.3 times 10 to the negative third moles per liter, will, dissolve, will be ions in solution. And twice that, 2.6 times 10 to the negative third, is the number of moles of I minus in solution. So all I have to do is take those numbers and plug them in my expression. So we have Ksp equals 1.3 times 10 to the negative third times 2.6 times 10 to the negative third squared. So let's simplify that. It's 1.3 times 10 to the negative third times 6.76 times 10 to the negative six. Multiply those together and I get 8.8 .8 times 10 to the negative 9. And that is my final answer. Great job. We are now finished with KSP and solubility.